Thank you to Rabbi Salomon. You can start uh, laughing. It's, uh, you know, it's not so healthy. <laughs> So Rabbi Solomon said that tonight we'll be laughing, crying, laughing, crying, I don't know what will end with the crying and the laughing, but I think we laughed before, so I'll try a little bit to take the niche of crying. So I'm sorry if, if I'll succeed. Uns mentioned today that Reza Hashem in five months will be the biggest gathering of Jews since Matan Teira, so on said. And Rabbi uh, the time Abraham, he had some caches. You know, Leah the Regal was millions of people. Hake, we know, and um, Yafi Kale, what that was after the Rum Rabbis. So the Gemara says, Ane, Mose Machsi, Ne Mose Machsi, Abire Leibninu. That they saw the, the Yekarayu, they saw the COVID at Teire twice a year. And they weren't Misgaya. But at least the last thousand years, for sure, how much we know in history, wasn't such a big gathering of 92,000 Jews together one place. I want to say that tonight, this, this gathering, 800 people who care for Am Israel, who's here to take responsibility for Am Israel, who's here to reach out, to be soldiers for the Almighty, wasn't at least from the time of Avraham Avinu. If someone could, uh, that I am Abraham, did I make a mistake? Avram Avinu, the Rambam says, Alofim Urechovais, but I don't think they were Kiruv workers, they were miscarving. But Kiruv people who took responsibility was never in history, from the beginning of creation. 800 people, tell me, please, I have a mistake. I went to many, many Asifas. 800 people, am I right? I'm not to make a mistake. Talking here on history of Amisra, history of the world. 5,772 years was never a gathering of 800 people would want to change the world, would want to reach out for another Jew. And the Chofetz Chaim says that the Osif Novoi will be Nevim, like we know today, Yeshua Shaitim Shmuel Melochim, will be written all of the history since the Nevim and to Mashiach. And there will be the Yei, the Yoi Mahu, Tov Shin, Ayin Beis, Vishchoidish Oder, Nisasfu. Shmoyno meiris anoshim noshim betav lokacha zachrayus al am Yisrael. Ubiik moiser bo adiulo le am Yisrael. This is a moment of history. But let's take responsibility (coughs) 
בראשישיבה, פרס נייט, אוף נר ישראל, סייד האי אז קנקשיינס אין וושינגטון, ואיזה סייד אוף אדיר, that I'm Israel didn't face such a terrible situation from the Holocaust. The threat of the atom bomb and all what's happening around. I want to tell you a secret. And Washington, maybe they think that's only since the Holocaust wasn't just Left. But someplace higher than Washington. And way before Washington, five years ago, not five years, three and a half years ago, my father, when he was sick, he went in to Rav Liyoshi, to be the Fuish Lema Bimeiro, and he spoke about the Matzev of the Adam bomb, Ahmadijan. And Arab Yoshu said that the situation is worse than the situation before the Holocaust. Arab Yoshu knows what he's talking about. We don't know. Everybody knows when Moshe Bolson made a sefer a few weeks ago. Why is everybody sleeping? Who is shining with all the masrim? If Chasmish or the Adam bomb would fall on Eretz Yisrael, God forbid. The American Jews will say, Al Khaid, Khatosun, Khaton, Rabinu, we needed to do more. We knew it's coming. The Khazani said, the Almighty Hayek hid it. The Holocaust from me, he said. Which means if he would know it wouldn't be a Holocaust. He would stop it. How would he stop it? Did he have a big gun? The Chazanish said that the Almighty took weak Doyle Adol before the Holocaust. Reb Shimon Shkov, Reb Kashmuel, and Reb Chaim Eizer. If they would be, it wouldn't be a Holocaust. Whoever knows the last half a year, we lost Tremendous Doyle Adol, from Michal Yudel Lefkovic, from Nossam Svi Finkelun, Rebel Schwarzman, the Rebbe Rumva, Rebbe Chaim Stein, the Rebbe Tzum Kanievsky, the brother of Rebbe Tzum Kanievsky, son of Arab Liyoshi, told me, the Almighty took Rebetz and Kanievsky and he didn't give us a, a chance to be misparted. With one, in one hour, he took her away. Today, the God Lador is in danger. The secular people in Eretz Yisrael are laughing on us. What are you praying? For a Jew 102 years old? What do you want? Until when should he live? One of the websites of, of Dart and Med, with snacking Judaism, he says, Oh, if I look at the ocean died, they say, Oh, what a tragedy, he died, the kids were yummy, make fun of us. But we know the truth. We can give another God and the God of all, we can sacrifice. We know that this is Chaim. And that's what got all Am Yisrael to pray. 
We know that when we have daily smile, we we are sure that we are okay. How long, how long will we have it? What do we do? What do we do to stop the Holocaust? Do we go out with weapons? So I want to tell you what my father did to, to stop the Holocaust. Whoever came to Eshatera 40 years ago, Abhaim, did my father ask you the question, and how many years will be a Third World War? Did he ask you the question? 30 years ago? 30 years ago? Yes. Yes. How much did you say? 20 years. 20 years. 20 was the most. He's an optimist. The students say between 2 years to 20 years. It was the Cold War between Russia in America, everybody was short. The atom bombs are starting to fly. <coughs> no one gave more than 20 years. And that was 40 years ago. You say 30 years is... Okay, we'll make the calculation. Bianca Salman, you're way out of the... 2008. So what happened? Did they have a mistake? All of these people, everybody said there would be a third world war. Was it a mistake? <coughs> or maybe Gorbachev, this guy, he had the merit to stop the third world war because he took apart Russia. This guy, this, this nobody, stopped the destruction of Amisrael. The answer is, that my father always said, either a program or a pogrom. The Almighty is waiting, he's giving us a choice. You decide. You want a program? If not, has the shalom will be a pogrom. So my father did a program. And that's when the true the Kiruv movement started. Oh, the Rebbeinu Shalom saw, we're starting to be mekarev, many people are coming back. I'll wait. I'll take a port Russia. So what happened now? What's, what, why is it coming again, this threat? So in my humble opinion, if I'm allowed to say, And if you want, ignore me. We have today thousands of young light and Eretz Israel who are going from door to door to knock and to do something. Did you hear about Leib Lachim? Every week, thousands of young light. You have Itabrut, you have Arachim, you have Shofar, you have so many Kiruv movements. Everybody knows Kiruv and Nerds Israel almost stopped. We don't see no Balichubes. Where's all of the Balichubes? They're doing, but they're not succeeding. Akash Boch is saying, it's great, they're doing. Abraham said today, they asked my father, what will happen if we get all of the from people, all of the religious people to do something, to reach out, but they don't succeed? My father said, Mashiach will come. And he knew what he's talking. But unfortunately, we don't yet have all of the Jews. Maybe in the melding list of Project Inspire we have tens of thousands of Jews. Who came here to the Shabbos? Who cares? Who's really doing something? 
And I'm not saying that they're not doing with income. Many people wanted to come and they couldn't come. Who's really doing something? How many? 800 people? 2,000 people? It's not all of the full people. The calculation today was 500,000 full people. They will bring 5 million people. But when it's only 2,000 people who's doing killing, we need to succeed. We can compromise, we're doing something. We're reaching out. We can't compromise. So my suggestion, and again, if you want to ignore it, my suggestion is that everybody should make a decision. Everybody takes a lulav and esli. I'm sure everybody takes a lulav and esli. Everybody should have his baltruva. This is my baltruva. And that was the dream of my father, of the sleeping giant. <coughs> if everyone would do one baltruva, next year when we are there, double the amount. Then everyone would go out to do one more baltruva. And that's how we will bring back Amisra. So again, remember, it's good. Anything you do is good. But we need to succeed. And remember, doing one baltruva, have your esroi. That's the only way to succeed. But we need to do it with Shem Shamayim. But also Li, Bishmi. Rabbi Feldman said yesterday, we need to say a story or a joke. I'll tell you a small joke. The Pshodim Shvadron used to say, that once someone went in the street and he saw a midget. He was so excited. It was a special bracha what we do on the midget. You know what bracha Meshane appears? He catched the midget and he picked him up and he said, Boruchata Hashem Alekeinu Melech Oilo Meshane Abriyas. So you didn't get it. <laughs> Watch out. Don't take your baltruva and say, Bo, Chata Hashem, Alekeinu Melech Oilom, Asher Kedishon, Mitzvay, So last is baltruva. Feel it. Do it. Dishmi. Do it because you care for, for your Jew, for your brothers and sisters. That's the only way to succeed. So I want to offer, in order to be the Maise, the Shus of I know he's afraid of the, what I'm going to offer. I'm finishing fast. <laughs> That's the most important thing here. <laughs> I want to offer whoever sends me an email. This is Aisha Torah, it's not Project Inspire. And something they did, something, doesn't matter what, we'll do next year, Blineda. Uh, Goyva, Lottery. Between all of those who will send an email that they did something. And we'll win $5,000. You can give it later, not only you here. The second five, the second $5,000 will be for the one who did the most. And if we need a person to, uh, to measure it, 
Jamaica birthday. The most in quantity. And the third five thousand dollars. <laughs> will be for the one who did the most in quality. The one who changed their life, the one who really succeeded. Yeah, we know. Mitzvah, Am Mitzvah is not for success, it's for doing. But we're in the Holocaust and we need also to succeed. And Be'ezo Hashem, if we undertake, my email is hweinberg.com, it's easy. Whoever can remember it, I'll give him a call. Just send, send, whatever you do, send. I'll put it in a special file, I'll send it to Chaim Samson. <laughs> and Be'ezo Hashem, my very side, I'm sure, that this gathering, gathering of people, what was on since Priya Sa'ilon, this will bring Mashiach, Bimeiro, Bimeiro, Amen.